Okay, I'm going to show you how to download and install the Android Market onto your Navi tablet. Something that did not come pre-installed and it's been a little difficult um, to locate the files. There was a YouTube video that I had found um, and the user, I had to email him to get him to download the files for me um, or to post them on his site so that I could download them and get the market onto my Navi, which I have since uninstalled so that I could walk you through this video. Right now we are on kids mode and we do want to be in mommy mode. So I'm going to go over to mommy mode and put my passcode. Alright, you can see we are now in mommy mode. Next thing you want to do is hook your Navi tablet up to your computer and you're going to do it via the USB cable that came with your Navi tablet. I already have one end plugged into my computer, so I'm going to plug the other end into the Navi. Okay. Now I have hooked it up, and we're going to drop down the notification bar right here. It's going to say USB connected external. Select to copy files to or from your computer. You're going to click on that. USB connected external and it does say right down here the lighting is really really bad but and it's not going to show it there we go it does say turn on USB storage which is what's that's what's going to pop up and you want to click on turn on USB storage you're going to give it a minute to connect to your computer there it is, USB storage in use. That shows you that it has connected to your computer and your computer should locate it, which mine did. All right, next thing you're gonna do, if you look at, um, if you scroll a little further down in this video, you're gonna see four links that you're gonna click on. Each of them is a separate download. Um, as you click on each one, it will pop up if you want to save them or open them, I believe. You do want to save them. I have found the easiest place to save them to is your desktop because that makes them just easily accessible. And you can see I have them saved right here. Those are the four that you're going to need. So the four separate links that you find when you scroll down, you will click on each one of those and you will save them to your desktop. They don't really have to be in order. I'm just a little OCD, so I did put them in order. Um, the first three are nothing really major. The, the last one right there, that's going to be your APK. That's the main one right there. Once you get those four links downloaded and placed on your desktop, you are going to go into your computer right there. And we're going to pull up the disk drive. Now, again, you do have two separate disk drives for your Navi. This is the NAND drive. Um, I don't really mess a lot with that. The second drive is going to be your SD card. That's the one that we're going to focus on. So we're going to click on the second drive. Mine is called F. Yours could be called something different. All right, what I'm going to do is pull this over so you can see. And I have already dragged and dropped those files onto my SD card have them right there, one, two, three, and four. To drag and drop, you want to click on it and just drag it over. Place it onto your SD card. Don't place it in any of the folders on your SD card, just place them, um, again, I'm OCD, so I place them at the very top. Um, one, two, three, and four. The right there, just so you can see, I did drag them over. Once they are on your SD card, you can close out. And what we're going to do is we are going to safely remove our Navi from the computer. I'm going to go to stop. Alright, and you can see it's safe to remove hardware. So let me close out of here. Bring the Navi back up. Right there, I'm going to click turn off USB storage. 
I just made a very loud sound. All right, so it does say, now it says turn on again, so you know you are disconnected. Um, you can unplug your U USB cable from your Navi. It will go through uh, media scanning, scanning SD files. Um, may take a little bit longer for you since you are putting new files onto your SD card. Shouldn't take too long, though. Okay. Next, you are going to go into App Zone, which is the app store that came pre-installed on your Navi tablet. We are going to need an applica application um, that they have there. The application that we need is a file explorer, and what we're going to use is called ES File Explorer, so you can just actually search under keyword. I just entered ES. It's a little fuzzy. You can see I just put ES in, and then I hit search, and it's going to come up right here. That one right there, ES File Explorer. I have already installed it, so if you want to go ahead and click on it and get it installed. Mine is already installed, so... You're going to back out of here. Like I said, go ahead and install that. You will need it to open the file containing the APK, which is the, the market application. All right, once you get it installed, you're going to scroll to it. Sorry. This is your app drawer. You're going to scroll to it inside of your app drawer. We're going to look for ES File Explorer. You can see it right there. I'm going to click on it. Now this is going to pull up all of the files inside of your SD card. We don't really want to mess with any of them. Alright, now remember we did drag and drop four files onto the SD card. Uh, one, two, and three, you're, really, you're not going to do anything with those. You don't even have to click on them, they just sit there. The main one is the fourth one, that is the APK, that's the application that we need. And what we're going to do... I'm a little confused. I'm trying to use the laptop here, too. We're going to click on number four, which is the APK. And you can see it says right there, Market, do you want to install this application? And down here it says, Install or Cancel. We are going to install it. And give it a minute to install. Alright, and you can see it says, it is done installing, application installed, and it says open and done. We do not want to open it right now. That was a problem that I was having before every market APK that I downloaded. I went ahead and I just opened it. We want to hit done. Again, do not open the application. It's a big no-no. I did that before. Okay. After that is installed, you want to power down your Navi tablet. Okay, you can see silent mode, power off. We are going to power off the Navi tablet. We're going to let it power down. Alright, you can see that it is off. I'm going to give it a couple of seconds, and then we're going to boot it back up. And we get to see the butterfly flying around. Okay, once it powers back up to the screen, just a little trick that I have learned with Android devices. You want to give it um, just a few seconds, you know, maybe up to a minute to fully boot up. It may look like it's fully booted, but it's not. It's still scanning all of your files and memory and, and doing all of its stuff. Um, if you go ahead and unlock it right away, you're going to get a slight freeze on it where the little unlock... Um, once you drag that up, it will stick for a minute. 
So I have learned with all of my Android devices to give it a little bit of time before I actually unlock it. All right, you see it pulls back up to kids mode, which is great. But we want to be in mommy mode again. So we're gonna go over to mommy mode. Alright, I am in mommy mode. This is the exciting moment right here. What we're going to do is scroll down. You know what? Again, that is your app drawer. You want to click on it and scroll down to your market, which is right there. We are going to click on it. And you can see it's loading. And this is the, the big moment. You accept their terms. And look, right here, Android Market. And everything works on it. it. It's awesome. And there's my account. It already has my Google account. If you don't have a Google account already, you can set one up. Um, and actually, if you don't have one, it will ask you if you would like to, to set up a Google account for it. So, um, And everything works. I've actually... I'll show you this right here. We're going to scroll over to top free. Or you know what, let's do a paid app. You can see I've already purchased that one, but we're going to find one just to download just for the heck of it. I'm going to do Doodle Jump. I think my daughter would love to play with that one, so. You can see, yeah, there's my Visa. You can't break into my Visa account. It doesn't give you all the numbers. Okay. Um, piece of card. We're going to accept and buy. And you can set, I, I have all my payments set up through my Google account because I do everything through Google. I'm a big Google lover. So right now it is downloading. Can you look at that? That was downloading. Now it's installing. Successfully installed Doodle Jump. We are going to open it. Hopefully it's a good app that's not going to freeze up on me. Doodle Jump. It's even making the sound. I don't know how to play it, so I'm not going to look like an idiot and attempt to do something that my five-year-old can probably manage in about three seconds. That is, see, I can't even exit out of this. All right, there you go. And that is how you set up the Android Market onto your Nabby tablet. Let me find it again. Markets. I'm going to put it right here on my screen. And you can see it's right there. And you can, you see I do have two other markets installed. One mobile market and the Amazon App Store, which are two excellent Markets, I, however, will not be using those anymore. Those will be my, my main ones right there. Because the Navi did come pre-installed with the App Zone, and it has a ton of wonderful apps. Not as many as the market, um, the Android market. But as far as, like, kids' stuff goes, the App Zone is going to be, I think once they get fully going, it's going to be amazing. This tablet itself is just awesome. All right, there you go. There is the market installed on the Navi tablet.